The president has told us in his speech that he wants to respect the independence of the judiciary and respect the decisions coming from the judiciary, Mr. Speaker. Let us, let us, uh, let us have a president who will exercise his powers as permitted within the confines of our constitution. Mr. Mr. Speaker, Tom Benin, do you wish to be informed by Senator Chalagay? Is a point of information? Uh, <laughs> you know, Mr. Speaker, Senator Chirage is, is my junior, so I like uh, hearing what he says so that he can keep learning. One day we'll also rise to become a senior counsel. <laughs> but uh, I want my time to, to be muted so that it doesn't eat into my time. Okay. And you'll be a good student. <laughs> You know, Senator Omogeni is my good friend. On a point of information, I wanted, uh, and this is in public domain, the uh, Public Service Commission has put out an advert to get the public opinion on the creation of Chief Administrative Secretary. So at this time, uh, I just wanted to inform my learned senior that the process of regularizing within the law has started. The Chief Administrative Secretary will be a process through Public Service Commission, Kenyans will have opportunity. So I want to urge my brother, if they have reservations, they can uh, relay with Public Service Commission. But I want to assure him the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, is committed to the rule of law and the Constitution. I thank you, uh, my brother. Okay. Senator Mugeni, maybe. I, I, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I wanted uh, to give Mr. Agea an opportunity because, as I said, he keeps, he keeps learning. Mr. Speaker, I want to take Senator Chirage to the provisions of uh, Article 234 of the Constitution. Because, Mr. Speaker, when I rise to say something, I've read the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, the powers, I read the advert that was placed on the newspapers by Public Service Commission. The position that is being created are officers within the public service, not officers who can serve within the cabinet. So you must draw a distinction. They can create directors and all that, but you cannot create position of cabinet administrative secretary. Because if you read through Article 152, 153, 154, it has got no room. Mr. Speaker, this idea of going out of, out of the way, trying to rewrite our constitution, to reward political failures, is a very bad culture, Mr. Speaker. If you have gone to the people, you have vied for political office, you have been rejected, wait for another five years, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, if uh, the president wants to respect our judiciary, let him accept the reality that there is no space for appointment of cabinet as administrative secretaries, and, and, and uh, that is the constitution as it is today, and we need to respect it. Mr. Speaker, the other point I wanted to talk about is... Uh, this idea of, of, of agriculture. Mr. Speaker, let's not be in a hurry. And in the process, we kill Kenyans. In 2012, Mr. Speaker, a scientific report said that GMOs can cause cancer, Mr. Speaker. Now, in the name of saying you want to create food security, Mr. Speaker, we are allowing entrepreneurs. We are not promoting hustlers, as you, you, have, you told us. You are now allowing entrepreneurs from outside the borders of this country, Mr. Speaker, to come and poison our people, Mr. Speaker, with GMOs. Mr. Speaker, GMOs cause cancer. Why is our president in a hurry? If the cabinet, if the cabinet halted this thing in, in 2012, Mr. Speaker, when did we have another study? Senator Mugheni, maybe you might be entering into dangerous grounds because I know you are, your profession is legal. No, no, Mr. Speaker, if you, I'm, I'm on... Maybe... Mr. Speaker, I'm, maybe I'm on... You, you I'm, on know, I'm on paragraph 21. You know, 21. this is a national house Mr. parliament. Speaker. Therefore, you must be, be very careful the message that we are giving Kenyans. Mr. So Speaker, maybe if Mr. Speaker, you know... You, you must really make good reference, uh, uh, Senator Mugeni, to, to, uh, to that issue about how GMO causes cancer. Scientifically, if you prove to Kenyans Wanjiku without the who doesn't know what is a GMO, maybe even by the definition of GMO, 
so that now we can